Hey everybody and welcome back. I am out here at Clarkson's Covered Bridge in Coleman, Alabama. Uh, I've been here once before and tried to hike some of the trail that was here years and years ago. And there really wasn't a whole lot to it then. According to the All Trails map, I think it's about a quarter of a mile right now. And it's also the hottest part of the day. That's why I'm I chose to come here because it's kind of shaded and it's not very long and hopefully it's very scenic. I've already seen a waterfall over there. Let's see if we can see that. See that? Pretty neat. See the waterfall there? It's hard for me to see it in the sun with the phone, but that's it. And then there's a uh, old mill there water wheel so I do come back come back and that's just the beginning of the trail right here for now so I see they've got little signs and stuff up so I'm gonna go walk this thing and uh, I'll be back with you in a little bit and I'm back uh, interesting little side note here uh, I followed this very, very clear path, and according to the map, I'm nowhere near the quarter mile path, and I'm at a little stream here, a little creek, and I can see that the path crosses over right here at some rocks. It would be very easy to go across here. Let me show you. Look at that. Beautiful. And easy to get across. Put right over there, and the path keeps going deeper into the forest. Now, normally I would just say, let's go see where that, that path leads. But it's like I said, I'm nowhere near the path. I'm, when I check my off trails map, I'm way off the grid, way, way off the grid. So I think I'm going to save this for another day of where does that path go? It may just go right up there to that tree and stop. I don't know, but. We're going to come back out here and find out one day when I am, uh, I don't have anywhere to be, you know. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to turn back now and head back down this way. It's also a nice place to find to go to the bathroom because they got the bathroom closed and I don't understand all that. But, shh, don't tell nobody. Anyway, uh, I'm going to head back, heading back now, and we will, uh, See if we can't find our way back on to this trail. Anyway, we'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're back again and back on the trail. Found our way. Uh, here we are. Uh, I'm going to put some pictures in the end of this vlog like I normally do of what I see and everything. But uh, there is uh, the beginning of here. I mentioned the... Uh, water wheel or a mill an old water mill well here we are on the back side of that on this here trail and uh, it's a building here but i don't think they're open for business or anything like that and i don't know if anybody runs this place i mean it's got to have some kind of upkeep because it's not all overgrown or anything but i don't know if they sell anything or any, what goes on here but nice building here you know, a shot of it from the back water reels off to the right over there where the creek is you can't see it at this point it's got electricity going into it but it's been sitting here a while looks like and i don't know if anybody's doing it all right i gotta get off here something is uh biting me bye and we're back and we got lost again but i think we're back on the trail the i know my signal out here isn't for crap so i'm probably not being able to navigate directly by the gps but there's roads and stuff that's very confusing to people that wouldn't be using any kind of gps technology or something like that so i would suggest the path is pretty pretty open but you know markers on trees or markers in general would be nice so we don't wander up a road that's not part of the trail 
but and some like i said somebody's taking care of this place at least a little bit because there are it's a friday afternoon and there are people all over the place there's i mean i've i've even talked to one one young man back there trying to catch fish he said they ain't biting but he ain't giving up so there you go beach beach any day at work that's what i that's what i said anyway but i don't think he understood that because he may not be young and old enough to, to have a job but he may i know kids nowadays you don't never know anyway uh looks like i got a little wooden bridge here i'm going to navigate and get back over to the main building over there that's not open and the restrooms are closed for the winter which it's not winter anymore so whoever's in charge of the clarkson covered bridge needs to come and uh, open the bathrooms up at least uh you know not too bad Ooh, let's go over here for a second before we go across that bridge see what we got i don't know if you can hear it in the background but that's the water running here i'll try to see see the pretty it's it's beautiful here i give them that it's definitely nice definitely definitely nice there's a some just a, it's very nice this is a this path is closing up quick though so obviously this is not traversed very often so we won't go any further but ooh, that looks nice hold on let me see what i can do here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. try not to fall in the water paul look at that that's beautiful let's see if we can zoom in on some of that some of that look at that that's beautiful if i had something to get across the water with i definitely would follow that over there see where that goes because it looks like this that's where this path actually ultimately leads to a little crossing right there but i don't want to get wet today so we're gonna turn around and I get out of this, standing in this rock bed in this creek and not fall in and get on back up there to the parking lot, I guess. And then we'll see about going across the, the actual covered bridge, which I know that's what you guys are waiting patiently to see. So be back in a little bit. And we're back and we, we really didn't go anywhere from the last time I said I was going. I'm still about to go up the bridge to the parking lot, but took the path to the other side of the bridge and it actually walks down here closer to the water too i bet you in uh, warm weather like pretty much like today you could uh, wait out there into that water and and cool off if you wanted to there's a little sandbar that goes this way here i'm turning you guys can see that see straight out there in front of me there's a little sandbar and there's a little building over there where it looks like a tree that's falling down back in my day when i was a young man we'd have tied a rope to that and been swinging around on that thing but I don't know that kids do that nowadays. Last time I was here, there, there was a swinging rope. It was over on the other side, but I didn't see it to this time. When I just walked over there. But like I said, that's been a few years, a few years ago, when me and the family came out here looking for trails to hike. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna go up to the parking lot and show you guys the covered Clarkson covered bridge. And then be back in a little bit. All right, and here we are. We're actually on the other side of the bridge. There's the bridge right there. And there's a rock wall over here with a bunch of scribbling all over it because people don't know any better, I guess. You can see uh, some of the stuff that I saw below. There's a big hole. And I don't know where the hole goes, but we ain't going to find out. Uh, there's a plaque over here and here let me get the bridge like there's the bridge the clark's covered bridge and there's the bridge that everybody drives over now right next to it so pretty interesting and there's a uh back to me there's a uh, plaque over here got a chain link fence i'm guessing so they can get uh maintenance vehicles and whatnot in here if they have to on this side of the bridge I'm sure this is the property line of this place and whoever's on the other side. 
geological diversity, physical diversity. All right, here I'll, I'll take a picture of that. I'll put you on, I'll put the film on it there, hold on. And we're back. And this is pretty much it, it seems like. It says it's a quarter of a mile trail, which quite possibly it could be if you can navigate it. You know, like I said, they don't have any, any signs or anything that kind of tells you where you are. It's kind of annoying, but like I said, earlier in this video there's a trail over there i don't know where it goes but we're going to come back one day and find out so this is it this is the clarkson clarks clarkson covered bridge yes and so there you go all there is now is to walk back across it and i guess go back to the car and Talk about it again one more time. So here, I'll film me going back across the little There's people coming, so I'll try not to get them in the shot. This is what it looks like though. It's actually pretty long. It's a pretty long walk from one end to the other. And people love to ride all over it and scribble and everything. And the wood isn't all completely together, so it's easy to stick a put your stick through it. So I have to watch what I'm doing. I'm an old man and I walk with a stick. Anyway, whoop, almost lost it. That would make me real mad if I lost my stick because it fell through a hole and fell through the creek and I had to go down there and get it. But anyway, back to me. That's it for now. I'll uh, be back in just a little bit. And we're back in the car. Got the air running. It's a it says it's 77 degrees, but I'm hot. I've been out there walking around with a backpack on full of gear. Uh, Clarkson Covered Bridge, also known as Leg Bridge. I know I, I found that on the little sign that was over there. Uh, it's a it's a cool little getaway. It's like uh, out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, literally nowhere. It's free, so I mean. It's cool to come out here and look at the scenery. Uh, bring a fishing pole. You might catch a fish. I don't know. I mean, I've seen a couple different people fishing, so I didn't see anybody catch anything, but you know, that's not what we, we call it fishing and not catching. Uh, the the paths, the, the the creeks, or not the creeks, the the paths the for hiking are not clearly marked so it's kind of easy to get off course but then again like i said i didn't have signal out there so it might have had something to do with not being able to get my gps to locate me up right although i was able to navigate around the map a little bit but not not like i it wasn't exact you know but there was a path over there i don't know where it goes but one day I'm going to come out here and find out. Uh, so, if you guys want to see see that, let me know. I'll make a special video of that trail that went to nowhere at Clarkson's Covered Bridge. Uh, there's a road back over here. I got on it for a little bit. Don't know where it goes. I know it's dead ends down here somewhere. I'm assuming it goes back out to the road. It's probably a service road of some kind. But, you know, with the map being all wonky like it was for me today, it was hard to, I didn't know if I was supposed to follow the road or follow this trail over here or, or what. I followed the road for a minute, got back on the trail. Either way, I got back, I got where I wanted to go. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, the last time we were here, it was jam packed full and that was in the middle of the summer sometime. And I know now it's getting to be warm again. So people are probably, venturing out and checking these places out the only thing that i can probably be wary of is watch for snakes and even they have a sign over there that says watch for snakes uh because it is on the water it's the woods snakes are going to come to the water especially water snakes 
and in the summertime if it gets really dry around here this is where they'll be coming to, to get water so that's be probably the only thing that and you know you'll be on the water you'll be gnats and stuff if skeeters and all that jazz but wasn't bad at all today like i said it was 77 degrees right now this is the hottest part of the day uh came out here at the hottest part of the day uh couldn't really figure out where i wanted to go this morning that's kind of the thing i get up on these days when i know i want to go do something and i don't really know where i want to go so then i gotta make a decision then most of the time i spend around hanging around the house and talk to my wife and kids or whatever and i get a late start blah 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 anyway so we'll uh we'll say yeah come on out here and check it out if you're in Col in the coleman area um it's there's a there's a, a museum right over here somewhere the crooked creek uh civil war museum uh and I've been there, and it's been years since I was there, but the last time I was there, it was pretty neat. You know, it was, uh, I mean, it's a single man run business. It's, it doesn't have any funding from the state or any of that, it seems like. But that's what he was telling us the last time we were there. And, I mean, it's a pretty cool place over there. I wish I'd gone during the day. And you know what? I might go over there one day during the day and hike around over there because... Uh, he was telling us the last time we were there that there's, you know, you can actually walk the property and because there was a battle there and you can see where the trenches were dug, dug in and whatnot and all that way back in the Civil War and you might even find a, a slug or something out there. Who knows? But anyway, that's right here in this little general area in the middle of nowhere. I mean, nowhere. So if you're out and about and you want to come and just hang out and want and you know see throw your line in the water maybe or just see a piece of history come on down here to clarkson's covered bridge and give it a, give it a shot but you know if you're coming down here for hiking ain't much hiking involved uh it's not it's not really that big but there's plenty of stuff to explore and see so that's kind of what I did most of the day. It said it was a quarter of a mile trail, but I know I walked probably a mile or more just trying not to forget, lose the trail and, and and just walking around and seeing things. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any. I didn't have any way to to document that how far I went because, like I said, I'm out here in the middle of the sticks and don't have any any service at all. So this is kind of where it goes sometimes. Anyway. Larson Covered Bridge, or Leg Bridge, if that's what you want to call it, out here in the middle of nowhere, uh, Coleman, Alabama. Come on down and uh, check it out. See ya.